This video will use the HP Z Central Connect features to import a host, manage that host, perform power operations on that host, and authorize the Connect agent to run on that host. When using the HP Z Central Connect version 2020, you could enter the host menu to begin the process of importing hosts. The computing hosts are represented and shown various status information. The owner type, whether it's free, part of a compute pool, or assigned to a private user. Whether it's available, disabled, checked out, or in use. The agent status shows whether it's connected, disconnected, or managed and the Intel AMT status is ready, pending, unmanaged, and error. So to begin the import process, we're going to select a series of hosts based on the member name, which is analogous to the Windows Active Directory Security Group. In this case, in the Windows Active Directory Security Group CAD, we have signed three computers. So we could import a host into the connection manager based on that security group. Or we could use a name or a portion of the name, in this case, Z2. And we'll select one of these hosts. And at the same time, we'll go to select the manage host with AMT. So we'll go to import. And the default method, digest authentication, has some security vulnerabilities and that the fact that we have to use a password. So there are more enterprise ready provisioning methods listed in the user guide, but beyond the scope of this video. So we're going to go off and manage this host and then perform the power operations. Since we've connected with AMT and provided the right credentials, we're able to perform various power operations. In this case, the system is completely powered off. We're going to ask it to power on. So the connection manager and Intel AMT work together to start the BIOS. The BIOS starts on the system, and then eventually we'll transfer control to the operating system, whether it's Windows or Linux. And once that gets to a ready state, the AMT and Connection Manager will report that the system is powered on and the status of that system. So now the availability is available. The agent status is still disconnected, but the system is up and available for use. So in this case, we're going to go off and authorize that agent on that host. So previously, we've had Remote Boost installed. So we'll launch Remote Boost from the admin panel. We'll connect to that remote computing host with the admin password. And we'll begin the process of authorizing the Connect agent. So logging into that host as the admin, we'll go to run the Zcentral Connect Agent MSI. There's various methods to perform the connection and agent authorization. We're going to use the MSI user interface style. The first panel, we define the connection manager in this case, we want to use the fully qualified host name of the host running the Zcentral Connect Manager. We're going to take the defaults communication ports, both for the endpoint and the message bus. We're going to say next to that, it reports that it, it's a self-signed certificate um, with the thumbprint and information about that certificate. The next panel, we need to enter the host name where the agent is running, and the host name must match exactly how it's listed in the Connect Manager. 
So a fully qualified host name is always the best option. So host name and domain name. We'll enter that there. And the next piece of information that uniquely ties the host, the host agent, and the manager together is the authorization code. So we'll generate a new authorization code on the manager, and we'll plug that into the agent installation. We'll continue that, allow the install to occur, elevated privileges, gets installed, and the service begins running. So we'll finish that. We'll get, go back to the connection manager. We'll refresh the monitoring host, and now we see that the host is available, the agent is connected, and the status is green.